Is this thing on? Day two of tailwheel training today at Tuscola Airport, Cairo, Michigan. Let's see how it went. Getting out of your comfort zone, learning to fly something else, uh, really can help you overall. It'll make any it'll make any pilot a better pilot if they learn how to handle an aircraft that doesn't want to go in the direction it's going. <laughs> <laughs> trying to fold a bowling ball <laughs> and stay out of this range. Yep. <laughs> I've told all my pilot buddies, you, you got to see this engine, it's the craziest thing. <laughs> Tuscola traffic assistance and we're rolling one way uh, two four remaining Tuscola. And left traffic here? It is left traffic. All right. Now to get used to a completely new sight feature. Okay, so we're Able to maintain. Where's the wind? Straight down the runway. Got it. All right. Go. We're ready to go. I'm good. I'll go ahead and get it going in. I'm through the yellow. Go ahead and push it faster. There you go. Nice and easy. Feet, feet off the brakes. Little, little softer on this. Okay. There comes that right one. Remember I told you about that? Right. There we go. Go ahead and pull it up. Yeah, it's just. I can't see anything inside the cockpit because of the glare. Okay. So everything's dark. Oh, there's my airspeed. Jeez. It's okay. I you just, can climb out. I just don't know where to look. Yeah, it's it's a shotgun panel. I just. Oh. There we go. There's not much we can do because the sun's going to be in the right. wind everywhere today. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> Go ahead. Carol, Cisco, traffic champ 2302, Echo departing 24, uh, departing the pattern off runway, heading to the west. Uh, is that a... Make a left hand turn. Right. Yeah, right. yeah right. I don't think we set that. Go ahead, there we go. There's a 1,500. What's the pattern altitude? Traffic, Fox Rock, be 17. Hotel, India Hotel, just uh, climbing through 2,500 feet right now, headed towards Blue Water Bridge, and uh, going to be climbing up to... Uh, okay, now I can see the ball. A little lighter on the, on the rudder. India Hotel, sorry, traffic. Little, I don't want to say lighter, a little smoother. All right, first notch flaps. There you go. Yeah, where's that second notch come in? On final normally. Okay. At 80, you could pull them in anywhere, but... Got it. Owasso traffic commander is entering the downwind for 2-9 Owasso. Go ahead and pull the fla flaps in now. All right. There you go. You're into the flare. Out. Flare. Out. Out. Power out. A little bit of right rudder. A little bit of right rudder. There you go. Nice and easy. Now just slowly apply the brakes. Nice and even braking all the way to a full stop. Pulling back all the way. There you go. We could probably use that taxiway right there. Submit it to 70. 
All right, there you go. Nice full stop. How'd that feel? Uh, busy. How much of that was you? Um, I don't know if I did anything. Oh. Besides slowly, it probably breaks at one point. All right. Tuscola traffic, Tuscola traffic, Stinson uh, departing runway uh, 24, left close traffic, Tuscola. Final looks clear. We're clear. All right. All right, so power comes in. Yep. Easy on the rudders, but, but active, right? Easy, but active. There you go. Nice. The tail come up. Oh, easy, 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 easy. All right. Get it in the air. Now it's just like every other airplane you've ever flown. If I get it just right, I can get the sun in the crossbar. <laughs> and a cult. So you, can, you can you can occult the sun with the crossbar. Right, part. works way better. Idle. Start flaring. Oh, fill it up. Back. Nice and easy. Just apply the brakes. Keep pulling back. Nice and easy on the brakes. There you go. That wasn't terrible. No. Not at all. All right. Holy <laughs> That was fun. Go ahead. Let me, watch me run the pedals here just for a second. Watch okay. what I do. You've got it. See how I just grabbed the tail wheel and now right. we have tail wheel control? So what I did was I went over and grabbed it. Okay. Locked yeah, it. I'm, I'm not super clear on the mechanism of that. So it's like there's a Y back there. And if it gets outside the Y, it swivels. It becomes a swivel. But if you can get it in the Y, then the the rudder operates the tail wheel. Okay. So if you line the rudder up with the tail wheel, right. it'll grab the tail wheel and pull it back. Uh, Unless it's further out than the rudder's able to operate. That's what those springs are. Those springs grab the tail wheel and, and run them. But then it, once it gets so far out, it casters so you can... Yeah. Well, that was probably the best one so far. It was smooth. I liked it. Yeah. Tusco air traffic. Uh, Stinson uh, crossing 3-1 to score. Stinson, there's only one of them going to be around, so it's not like I have to call the tail number. Which Stinson are you today? Well, <laughs> so has the tail number ever helped you? Never. No, but a white airplane might help you. Uh, or a white, white, white Stinson, yeah. Yeah, that's how I always called it. I know, you know, the AIM says something differently, but to All me, right. is a, I, there was one guy, one time a guy was calling Blue Cessna. And I was like, okay, that's him. It was perfect, right? Right. Ready to go? Power's full. It's nice alive. and easy. A li little lighter on the tail. If I get that nose to come up. There we go. People really concentrate about the landings. You know, they talk right. about the landing, the landing, right. the landing. The takeoff has its own set of challenges. It does. I expect the nose to start coming up, not go down and then come up. Right. So that's just negative transfer there. Idle. Idle. Round it out right like this. Now hold that level attitude. Now start pulling back as it starts to come in. Easy on the rudders. There you go. Hit the brakes. Nice and easy braking. There you go. Hey. Awesome. Here's where tailwheel pride comes in. You don't land a tailwheel any different than you land a tricycle gear. Okay. It's just that you land it completely differently because you land every airplane the way you're supposed to land an airplane. <laughs> I enjoy flying these airplanes. 
a lot. I, there's a lot, a lot of aspects of this that I enjoy. Right. Um, one is that it's a little more challenging. It, it, it's a, it's a little, it's a little more picky. Right. And I don't know if, if that does that mean it's challenging. I'm not sure. But I enjoy flying a classic airplane, something that's been flying for 70 years. Right. right. I think with a tailwheel airplane, the ball would be right up here. Some of them are. <laughs> Just call the traffic, 9 or 2, 1, turn it base for runway 24. Just call it. Idle. Pause. There you go. I'll start pulling back. Pull it off. There it is. All right, we're straight. No. That's power. Here comes the nose. Looking for 60. Oh, hey. It came up on its own because of the aileron. Williams County traffic, 7582, Delta Charlie is turning left crosswind, runway. Put your left foot on the ground. All right. So you're you're heavy on the left foot. Okay. It might just be because you're in a cramped airplane. <laughs> I'm right? I mean, jammed in here. <laughs> a little more right rudder. Hey, I know you on There you go. Level. Great. There you go. All right. Well, that was a tailwheel landing. Yep. I'm gonna get it stopped eventually. Now I can actually, with the with the light, I can actually see the panel. I, I spent 80% of the, <laughs> the 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 flight squinting to be able to see stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the sun was right in our eyes. It was a bad day for that. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right. So all the way to idle and then mixture. Yeah, you can just... do it 800 here. That just comes out. Awesome. Yeah, Meg's a master. So, second day of flying the tailwheel, um, a little bit better. Uh, though, switching from the right seat on day one to the left seat on day two meant that I was two steps forward and one step back. But we did eight landings. Uh, they were all three-point landings, kind of. One of them was really a hybrid landing, and that's where things get a little weird because you're not really a three-point with the tail stuck and not really a wheel landing, so uh, that one is probably the only one that made Scott nervous. But overall, I feel like I still learned a lot. And the real interesting thing about this is the amount of bad habits in your nose wheel flying that you can identify by learning how to fly the tail wheel. So this airplane really is gonna make me a better pilot and better flight instructor just because it uncovers some bad habits that I may have been uh, really guilty of uh, in flying conventional gear airplanes. So anyways, great experience. Had a lot of fun today.